great question and quite a difficult one really because you know I've worked in the training industry for a lot of years I know how much our delegates appreciate certification and I know how hard they work as well to achieve certifications but there is a vast array out there and sometimes you look at the discussions online about certification just being a license to print money and you can see why people are cautious so what I would say is as an individual if you are looking at um, investing in training and certification for yourself, think about it like any other business investment. You're investing in yourself. How do you make sure that you're going to get the best return on the money and the time that you are spending? So one easy thing to do is to look at the roles that you see yourself progressing towards. Where do you want to go in your career? And then have a look at the job postings and start to think about which certifications are going to be the ones that get me through the door and get me that interview that, that I really, really want. Particularly now that a lot of HR processes are being automated, the initial scanning is done by machine. So having that right certification on your resume, on your CV can be the thing that gets you where you need to be so you know think about it as an investment in yourself and make sure that you do your research so that you are actually getting a worthwhile investment you're getting a return on the the valuable money and time that you're spending and if you're an employer if you're managing a team think about training and certification as being something that's going to enhance the skills of your team but also the certification is something that shows your team that you're willing to invest in them and that can be a big morale boost as well so there is still plenty of value in training and certification absolutely believe in it but as always make sure you've done your research <laughs>